Hey, Bucks here. So we got a Cortland Sutton card here with us today. Well, tomorrow is where it's going to be pulled. It's revealed today, though. Friday it'll be in packs too, and I definitely recommend you wait till Friday to pull packs because pulling tomorrow is kind of like pulling your old teeth. It's a little painful. You can get something, but odds are you ain't going to like it. Okay, so I definitely recommend Sutton, and whoever they reveal on the second one, they say tomorrow on the GMN, they have a little cowboy figure, a little hat here who I would assume, if it's a cowboy hat, there's a team, let's see, it's kind of an outdated profession, kind of like a pirate, like a buccaneer, I'm guessing I have the other one tomorrow, the cowboy hat stands for buccaneer, um, so we should get one of those tomorrow, but, before I go into the rest of the video, let's take a look at a word from our sponsor. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom, if you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. All right, so, after Sutton, it's, it's kind of strange, because, like, you know, we got so many cards nowadays uh, that can get up to 99 speed on theme teams, and it does feel like it's a strange thing when limiteds have to go on theme teams for them to become, like, maximize the power, because they're going for, like, you know, maybe on Friday gets down to, like, 700, 800k. We'll see what they end up adding the, uh, putting the boost, the odds to uh, up to. Wow, I can't even speak. I, what, what am I doing on this whole interwebs thing? I can't even put English together. But Elite Packs, you know, we take a look at these odds and say, sayonara, don't let the door kick you on the way out. Yes, our doors have legs because they're mimics. And I just, I, I've, I, I think these odds really left a lot of ta like sour taste in people's mouths as they were leaving Mutt for the year, right? Because a lot of people do end up leaving the game when the Super Bowl finishes. All of us regular DGens, we stay all around the, the whole year, right? I'll be making Madden 21 videos all the way up until Madden 22. But, like, a lot of other people may be, like, leaving soon. And, like, these odds, they really do put a warhead in your mouth. And not in a good way. Like, it's tough, man. I'm glad to see them go. It is kind of cool. We got the countdown timer going. As you'll see, I got up to uh, my, my eight digits. Now I'll start with the two. I'm no longer a broke-ass YouTuber streamer that everybody insults all the time for being broke. And they hate the sound of poor. Got a lot of those comments, too, when I've dipped into the one. So, we're still building. We're still selling. I ended up buying... Uh, a few of those honor cards, so I keep it on. I got a little bit of stash there, too, since they're not, they're not being reduxed. But, awesome. I love to see you go. It's like a, a hallelujah. Play the good music in the background. If I could play it, uh, I would. I mean, some of these things aren't going away. They're staying there, like the rolls. By the way, these flashback, do not, do not, do not get these things. Like, I'll, I'll pull one, and uh, they've been horrible. They've been awful. I think I saw, like, other YouTubers pull, like, 60, 70 of these things and get not get a single 95. I got 195. Uh, other people on the reddits pulled like 20 of them didn't get a single one i got a cj mosley i don't even care where he's going if i'm just gonna quick sell him uh so like flashbacks were awful these packs you know too bad i mean these ones are pretty good for like arbitrage purposes but like these packs right here have offered a lot of pain to people like this one's been pretty good for money making like i talked about the other day we're selling the low-end cards and then uh you know training roll the, the high-end cards you pull something high and i guess those 83s 85s will go up again this weekend uh for the new ultimate legend drop but uh uh, if you got Wheel of Coins packs, you want to, oh, sorry, if you got trophies, you 100% want to do Wheel of Coins. I've had a better, like, so I've, I've probably exchanged maybe, I don't know, a thousand, a thousand series trophies uh, in this last series through Wheel of Coins, and I 100 think, I 100 think this is the best way to do it. Don't, like, you could take your safe, cozy, red zone pack, quick sell, 25k for 85 trophies, but, dude, these Wheel of Coins, they paid out 30, 50k for me all, uh, quite a bit, so... I actually, they, they are, based on statistically, are a little bit better than the red zone packs. It's not like wild bonkers better, but it is it is definitely better, what I've noticed. Uh, but you can go through a little bit of rough run. I've got, definitely gone through like 10 in a row of getting like 1, 2, 10K. So it's definitely a large sample size thing because you can't get screwed in small samples. But good, good, good. I hope, I hope when Ultimate Legends come back on Saturday that these pack odds have updated because this is brutal too. 5% for a 95 plus. 91 at 47, okay. Uh, we did the Elite, the Game Changer packs, 6.2%, right? Isn't that like one out of 19 packs? These things cost nine bucks, and you only get a 92 going for, let's take a look at the spreadsheet, 92s go for 67K or so, it might be different, I, I didn't update this today. 67K, you got a one in 19 chance of getting that. It's just not worth it versus going to like rock bottom or something. Hashtag ad for that. But like, I don't know. 
Pack odds. I'm done with them. Series five. Also, I, I've mentioned this a few times. Definitely get your team. Uh, I just want to keep doing it for people that may, may be watching right now. Your your uh, Mutt Master tackle for losses done. I'm not gonna do it. I'm lazy, and it's the end of the year. I'm I haven't done any like solos at the end of the year here. I just gave up. I figure you know I feel like 20 mil can take me through the year here. Uh, I, you got, I haven't even done like the weekly 50. I'm not done with that stuff yet either. So. Uh, whatever, I gave up on solos. I just play head-to-head -head online and uh, pull packs. But, you know, that's kind of what I'm here for is to be the pack the pack monkey to show you how bad they are. So, there's something else I want to talk about. Wheel of Coins, Pack Odds, Cortland, Tackle for Losses, Flashback Packs of Brutals. Do I really have nothing else I want to talk about today? Mutt's, like, in that, in that vein, is Mutt getting kind of dry, right? Now we're going to have going forward, we've got content Wednesdays for Wildcard, Thursdays for the two limited Fridays for Siri Chance. We don't know what's going to happen next Friday. Of course, Black History Month is coming back tomorrow. So we'll see what we get for that. Um, Saturday, Ultimate Legends. We get, like, we get content four days a week. But why does it feel so dry, though, right? Like, it feels like I I'm licking desert right now. It, it does feel a little bit dry, even though the content cycles out four times a week, which is actually more than, like, end of the show during its, like, prime season. But why, oh, why does it feel dry? Is it because, like, team building's done? Is it because we basically have Matt Stats, like that Cortland Sutton? It's got Matt stats, max stats across the board. I got the I got the power up upgrade card art on Rogers, who I'll be using, um, you know, going forward here because it was good throw motion. You guys hopefully saw that video yesterday, me going through that. Uh, but I've been trying to sell off a bunch of my rosters. Chain, wait, generate uh, best team overall. Uh, there you go, right now. So I don't know, dudes. I so no, they have Tom Brady or Rogers. Dang it. Yeah, does my field dry to you guys? What can they do? I, I mean, I need some more house rules, man. Give me house rules regularly. That will keep it, with, with good rewards, that'll keep it fresh through the summer. Because it does feel like they start to move on now at times. And even though they're putting out quite a bit of content, it feels like it's not any good. Like, Jimmy Garoppolo is the only good one from today that's any that, that has any relevance. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. So I don't know how they do that. Like, that's kind of what we want. We, I kind of want fresh new stuff. Like, right? Remember back in, like, 15, 16 years where the summer months were the best months to play this game? We, like, they brought it. They literally brought in salary cap, made it a thing during, like, the spring summer months of uh, 16. What am I? Wait, who am I looking for? Garoppolo. Oh, I had too many R's. R. It's too much like a pirate and a buccaneer. I don't know. But, like, so, like, I hope they can bring something else out, but I... I truly do think with how we've seen the last few years that they're going to kind of see similar stuff we'll see if we get a combine promo uh garoppolo 95 wait what why is he going for so much it's like it tells tells you about the odds of those packs the fact that he's 398 for 95 overall uh when he should be going for 147 or so shows you how many people tried to pull him but could not because the odds are so bad so sayonara series four I hate you. You're the worst. I guess I got one more day with you, so you're not exactly gone. But I hope to soon forget you, drown you out with the whiskey that uh, we finish and hit ourselves with the bottle on the head to make sure the memories are gone for good. That's the video. Kind of just a little update. I hope you guys liked it. Me rambling and ranting about mutt stuff for, I don't know how many minutes, eight minutes. Smile. Thumbs up, please. It really helps. Thank you.